Hello, Twin Flame Soulmate Collective, and welcome back, Sagittarius. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on what energy do you and your Twin Flame or Soulmate need to focus on or embrace in order to have a stronger, more cohesive union. I'm also going to take a look at what you, as a couple, need to release or move away from. And last but not least, what mindset you both need to have as a couple in order to build a stronger uh, foundation, a stronger connection right now at this moment in time. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channel's messages. All right, Sagittarius, let's take a look at what you and your twin flame or soul may need to focus on right now and embrace in order to have a stronger, more cohesive union. Now, some of you have just recently met your soulmate. Others of you have been together for quite some time. I call you guys my seasoned couples. And some of you are already married to your twin flame. So the, these messages um, are great for uh, whichever dynamic you may have right now at this moment in time with your twin flame or soulmate. So let's take a look here at the focus. Okay. So you have here daydream and you have here freedom. Okay. So I feel here right now at this moment in time as a couple, um, there may be a lot of thinking, wishing, hoping in a way, thinking about either a hoping that things move, uh, move forward, uh, move either at a faster pace. Some of you, I feel here that there's this um, embracing of wanting to um, take a trip or uh, go away on vacation or take some type of R&R &R together, okay? Some of you are even thinking about that trip you may have taken recently as well, okay? Because freedom um, is about kind of, in a way, liberation, but it's also coming across to me at this moment in time as travel as well. I feel here that there is this uh, focus for others of you to reimagine to reimagine uh, new ways, fun ways, romantic ways to, um, in a way, find a, an escape together as a couple. I feel that some of you uh, may need right now at this moment in time to focus on ways to connect um, with each other more on a private you know, like privately. So there may be a lot of things going on around you and your twin flame or soulmate. And there's this need to feel as if you need a quiet time together. You need to, um, relax, rejuvenate in a way, liberate yourselves from the daily hustle and bustle or, uh, the daily workload or responsibilities. There's this mental escape that some of you may be feeling. And I feel here that, uh, you know, both of you either, e either a need to embrace, um, something that you may want to do once a month, just to bring you guys together and closer as a couple here is what I'm, uh, it's coming across others of you, uh, again, travel or going away. Okay. So let's see what else you need to embrace or focus on Sagittarius right now at this moment in time. And you have the three of wands. If, I mean, you have, uh, another card talking about travel. <laughs> so I'll talk about that in a moment. So let me start off by reading what it says. It says, uh, we, cause it's you and your, uh, twin flame. We have the energy we need to realize our goals. Okay. So there is this focus or there's this energy that both of you need to embrace that Number one, the three of wands is all about waiting for that right time. Okay. So three of wands is not about the actual doing. Okay. It's about still planning and waiting for the right opportunity to strike or waiting for the right opportunity to jump in and go in that new direction or jump in and create the four of wands, which is that happiness, that stability, that harmony okay within your connection but this three of wands is talking about realizing your goals understanding that together as a couple you guys can move in that direction but in order to do so both of you have to have the 
uh, inspiration, the motivation, and the passion to know when is the right time to make those dreams into realities or to go into that new direction of stability, harmony, and uh, joy. For others of you here, uh, right after the three of wands is the four of wands, right? So the four of wands has a lot to do with marriage, stability, okay, commitment. So some of you here may be thinking about that or your focus may be that, okay? When is the right time to propose or when is the right time to buy that new house or, or move into our new location or a new home or when is it the right time to set that date for our wedding, right? But there's this sense here of focusing on that right opportunity, that right moment, uh, that moment when it's the right time to move ahead with your plans that you've been waiting for quite some time for. Now let's take a look here at what you need to release. Wow. Okay. So I'll take that. I'll take this, what you need to release right now at this moment in time as a couple. Um, before I jump into that, one thing I want to mention, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, do so now so you can be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And the other quick message is I want to thank each and every one of you who have, uh, you know, sent me a congratulations over social media. If you don't know my social media platforms, just look at my banner. Um, and you will see that there. And thank you so much for your congratulations on my, uh, uh engagement. All right. All right. So let's take a look here. You have as a couple, what do you need to let go of? Clean up mildew fairy. Okay. There may be these stuck emotions that some of you may, uh, have at this moment in time. Okay. Within your connection, there's this sense of wanting to move forward, thinking about moving forward. Okay. Embracing, uh, moving forward. Okay. Some of you have been waiting a very long time to get out of a specific rut or a rut that you may feel that your relationship or circumstances in your relationship may be, you know, creating this type of feeling. So mildew fairy is about cleaning up, cleaning up that stuck feeling, um, those stuck emotions, these moments where you feel as if there's just this gloomy kind of fatigue, kind of tired, kind of like, uh, feeling and really brushing that off. Okay. Um, again, that a lot of you, uh, that I mentioned earlier and it came through very, you know, very much so here, some of you may need to just take a vacation to, uh, really either take a vacation or make some time for each other to have some type of uh, rest and relaxation together because there may be a lot of things that are on your plate and there's this sense of feeling kind of stuck or caged into certain responsibilities like the daily hustle and bustle there's this need here to embrace movement okay whether that's recreating something special in you within your connection going out twice a month it doesn't have to be expensive it could just be creative okay and romantic um, or doing something once a month, okay, in order to get yourselves out of this rut, okay, of either a energy that's floating around your, uh, you know, your connection, or just because you're in the daily hustle and bustle. All right, let's take a look at what else you need to release or move away from. Artificial heart, yeah, the daily monotonous uh, routine. Artificial heart has a lot to do with being very stuck in the logical, being very stuck in your mind, okay? Uh, whether it's you, Sagittarius, or whether it's your partner, but there are either one or two people here very stuck to a certain routine. There's this, um, there's this safety net that either you or your partner may feel in getting stuck in your head, like overanalyzing something or uh, thinking too much of something. Okay. And there's this, there's this need here to release that overthinking energy or that super hyper, um, analytical state of only thinking so much and not really, uh, feeling right. Feeling what's going on, listening with your heart, uh, creating moments to spend time together. Uh, that's not just basic routine daily day to day activity, but something special, something that can in a way revive your connection. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here at what mindset you need to have in order to 
continue to create a stronger connection. Okay. It says, I am powerful, but here I'm going to change the I to we, because this is all about you and your twin flame uh, or your soulmate. So we are powerful. Okay. Now focus on what makes you feel powerful. What makes you feel empowered as a couple? How do you welcome uh, new ideas, a new set of uh, again, inspiration, motivation, and passion within your relationship. Sagittarius, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.